try this out. So let's start recording. Let's jump in here. It's good. Nice. Thanks, Boop. All right. Uh, competitive Modern League. Literally gone four one three times today. Lost two each time. I lost the blue white control once in each league, and then I lost to whatever it is. Can't think of it. Um, lost the blue white control and Ponza. I tossed the Ponza matchup though, so that kind of makes me mad. Oh, might as well put the deck list up here. I'm all over the place already. Looks like we're going to town here. I have like a little bit of feedback in my right ear. Ah, oh, that sounds great. Especially when my opponent mulligans from a thought sees. When we get to thought see them, I was playing just millions and millions of these control decks going around. I'm going to save this street rate for next turn. Because it just synergizes with the uh, whatever it is, the um, Serum Visions. Hey, Archmage, how you doing tonight? Yeah, there's a lot of people. Oh, th this is where it's terrible. Um, kind of want to just take this cryptic command. You know, this click is going to be pretty annoying. Gonna do me. A, oh, that's fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this cryptic. The click's annoying, but you know, whatever. My opponent kept a card on the bottom too, so that's worth noting. Okay, we don't need any more lands. So this is gonna be a blood crypt. I can't imagine world a world where I don't cast Death Shadow this turn. Oh. But we'll start off with this. I'm trying to cast this. My opponent can click the stub out of my hand, but you know that kind of is what it is. If they're not clicking the stub out of my hand, they're also not dealing with. Uh, um, they could get battle raged. My opponent should have fetched before they opt, opted, I think. Unless they were looking for a land. Which they are. They found it. Play search, okay. So maybe we get steam vents with this. So I have the trifecta. So I think I'm just gonna fire this battle rage off right now and just 12 my opponent. Because likely it's gonna get clicked away and we still have a stub. So we're just gonna get in while the getting's good to get us in the snapcaster. Bolt range. Hopefully this doesn't get logic knotted. It would be their last card. It is their last card. What a beating. What a savage beating. And now we're basically dead. We need like a faithless looting. Probably. Like faithless looting would be our best draw here. I 
The goose is cooked. Good job, which is good. That's basically just cycling the opt. So I pay full retail for this dismember when my opponent clicks me. And they should just let me have this bobble because cycling it's the exact same thing. Our opponent's playing the bad version. <laughs> Terrible human being they are. So we need some Lightning Bolts and some Snapcaster Mages. We have some Reach in the deck. They're drawing Field of Ruin. Um, yeah, Field of Ruin is probably fine. We don't want to like... They're probably just going to bin it, to be honest. I guess they can also keep it and flip their... Oh, they can keep it and flip their as content and crack me with Colonnade. Put me on the old one-turn clock. God, we are running good. Hey Ben, how you doing? Trying out your pyromant your triple pyromancers today. Getting jonesy with it. Surprised they because they just keep that, they can fire alright. That's this is what we needed. Good cards, good cards. Those are good cards. It's the best we can do, Archmage. Don't don't you get negative on me. I'm gonna play a land because I'm gonna want a flashback faithless looting, and I'm probably gonna need some extra mana. So like if I wanna do something, like if I hopefully I draw like two things to do off of it, and that's my best option. What well, they just like miss? Teferi's not a miss. Fairy is just the the cooking the cooked goose here. Maybe they'll plus it. You never know, right? They didn't. I know you'd appreciate it, Ben. Oh, they can just terminus me. One, two, three, four, five, six. They just colonnade me next turn. If I just make them, make them terminus me, I guess. And if they fire up colonnade, then we might be able to get them. Yeah, I, I I was playing leagues today, Ben, and I went twelve and three with the uh, with this build. Okay, went twelve and three with this build, and uh, was actually using your sideboard guide just because it was like it was closer to what I was doing. So the Death Shadows on top of our deck. This terminus is gone. I saw you had a stream earlier, Ben, you 5 out. Yeah, we're just going to play full retail for this dismember. Then we have to, like, draw something else. They're going to Ascanta. I guess they get to, like, double Ascanta. All right, yeah, we're we're good. It's going to cryptic my shadow. I don't need to play this game any longer. But, yeah, I was using your cyborg guide because it was, it was a little closer to what you were doing. So... I just had it open up and was boarding similarly. We're getting these, cutting these, these. Um, two bolts and one street race.
Yeah, I didn't. I came in. I literally came in right at the end. I think right as you were just talking about the 5 0. So I, I actually didn't see any of the gameplay. This is just about as bad as it gets. Like I said, I played I played three leagues today. I'm I'm literally twelve blue white control and Ponza. Like played blue white control three times, got smoked, got really lucky once. And then I just played like an asshole when we played against Ponza earlier today. But like this is just awful. This is as bad as it gets. Because I get like we got lucky that our opponent like that that last game was winnable. I'm literally 12. Just end it right there. 2020. You can vote for a 12-year-old. It's going to be me. No, we just can't, like... The blue-white decks, it, it's just like... I mean, I guess the version that doesn't have spreading seeds is a better matchup. But they just have so many annoying permanents. I kind of want to board in an E. I forgot I like to do that against this deck. I wonder if I made it. I made it. Might as well see what our curve looks like while we're just hanging out here. I have more threes in the deck, and the Snapcaster may just get a little more clunky, but like against the Path to Exile deck, we can get away with that. Oh, yeah, I think blue-white control, like, while I completely dominated that last GP down there, I think blue-white control is not that great. Uh, so I get three redraws, and both of these cards are very good. We're going to be an adult. This hand's not much better. Oh, bad for us? Yeah, I think the deck's awful, but it is very good against this deck. So now I don't even want to cast my Serum Visions. I can accept that. My heart is still open. I love you. Yes, it does. I love, I love it when you play Blue-White Archmage. I probably don't even want this K command to be honest. Because, like, if this gets killed, it's just going to get pathed. And it's not worth not Serum Visioning. So, whatever. We're just going to put it on top, fetch it away, and then cast Serum Visions. If I had something like a Street Wraith, well, these are good. Um. If I had something like a Street Wraith, I would uh, um, I would have kept that K command because at least I can rebuy the Street Wraith. There's no guarantee I can rebuy anything here. I also should have put that Liliana on top, I think. Because now like if I play Pyromancer and they path it, then I lose the Liliana unless I don't search. But my hand's so heavy that I can just afford to not search, I think. So I think we're just going to jam this. Terminus is a, it's a fun of. Yeah, I think, yeah, well, this is going to get passed. And we're just going to take our Liliana. Yeah, like, what are we getting? So, don't mana leak me, bro. No, I just think any deck in modern that can't turn the quarter or isn't proactive just isn't good. There's just way too much going on. And I, I just, even though this deck did very, had like an amazing weekend, it still doesn't excuse it. Imagine how sweet it would have been if we'd uh, had that in our hand and then I could have Stubborn Denial up for this Detention Sphere that's coming. Yeah, dude. We have played this game before.
Cyclists. I'll never cast a turn pass to and be like, wow. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this cryptic command, as it is my opponent's most powerful card. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll uh, that'll do it. So they play their island. So they draw. They drew another cryptic command, which is not bad if we draw a threat right now, which we did. Jokes on you. We're gonna keep these lands in our hand for post field of ruin carnage. And I could I could play I guess if I had shocked myself there, it would have given me the option to kill my opponent next turn in two turns. Like because I have fetch shock eight, shock one. So Yeah, I might be a turn slow. Not necessarily now. So they drew a land. They do this thing. What do they do? From the bottom. Nice. All right. That's going to give us some options. Don't path me. My opponent's pausing. This is so bad. I'm about to get pathed. The fact that they're pausing means I'm about to get pathed to exile. Or they're going to logic knot it. Yeah, that's what they're doing. So it's weird. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of a little bit poor sequencing for me. Like I should have given myself the option. I think we're just gonna like serve in there just for maximum damage. Like we're gonna give ourselves a couple outs to kill our opponent next turn. Cause they've only got Field of Ruin, another card and a random draw stat, or we got them. So, or I guess we don't necessarily got them. We give ourselves, gives ourselves a chance to get them next turn. All right. Put a card on the bottom. They're just a digging. So we can cut that fetch land off, which I'm in the market for. There's like no point in casting this, right? Because they're going to cast whatever they have. There's also probably like no point holding it. Figure out what their last card is. It either kills my shadow or it's entreat the angels. Oh geez. Glad we cast that. Alright. So we got your fetch land. My opponent says super punished. Like, yep. Yeah. So we cut this land off, which is great, which means they don't like like Supreme Verdict isn't a draw anymore. Um Wrath of God isn't a draw anymore. One time. Ben, I saw your stream was very good this morning. You had a lot of viewers. Getting clicked. All right. I bet they'll let me keep it because they have no choice. I wonder what the point is of playing it there. I guess it doesn't really matter. So here comes a field. So now they have double white, which gives them a couple more options. <clears throat> it's kind of like, whatever, man. Like, you're going to hit it? Oh, my gosh. I should have got an island definitely off of this. Oh, man. No, I should have left that in my hand, too. 
I just, just slam a Teferi or something like that, and I'm just going to throw up. Yeah, it was a good stream. So this is going to, like, get me a Death Shadow. All right, we're gonna get out of this. Oh my gosh. I'm about to free, I think I'm gonna start drinking. All right, uh, when's the best time to do this? Probably in my opponent's upkeep. <clears throat> I'm gonna return. I probably should have actually main fit. No, it doesn't really matter. So let's go. Just get back this pyromancer. Shock them. Got it. <clears throat> Game three against blue white control. Here we go. Do I want this other land? Do I want this other E? Is there like a card I can cut reasonably? Kind of want my fatal pushes, my counter spells, my can trips. <clears throat> I could shave and cut an angler because they're likely to have rest in pieces after sideboard, and they've got like celestial purge, path to exile. Detention Sphere. This also hits all the Entreat tokens. I think we're going to hedge. I don't know if that's correct or not. I kind of just listened. It's what my heart told me to do. And I didn't. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure if it's the best thing to do. <clears throat> I do think I want a second EE. It could come from a Street Wraith. But I'm wondering if I can afford to cut more Anglers because... Um, I think it's pretty good. My opponent mulliganed. Maybe I should mull. I can stub a turn two play, and then I've got like cantrip into cantrip into a full graveyard. Now this snap, I'm gonna mulligan. That's what we mulligan into. That's not. That's actually not bad. Harley cry. How you doing, radio? And I'll put this on top. We're going to Thought Seize their thing that protects this. And then we're going to win with Liliana. In case anyone was wondering. <laughs> How are you doing, Rafi? Gross. So they put a card on top, so it's definitely a land. So I probably just take this Serum Visions and look to buy myself some time. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> yeah, so there's their land. I'm going to get this Gurmag Angler bounced by this Jace. Oh, okay. So if I can ditch these two... So I could Thought Seize a Jace, and then next turn play Death Shadow and Gurmag Angler, and like kind of corral the second Jace. It kind of blows to ditch my Liliana, but I think that was the right thing to do. So hopefully they didn't draw like they didn't draw interaction in the land Jace. Well, there's no reason to cast that, I don't think. I could hit the entreat, but <clears throat> cast it next turn to hit the entreat, I guess. Okay, so they hit the Jace. 
So they're going to bounce my angler probably. They might just brainstorm to put that entreat back onto their deck. And then they can entreat for how many? They can entreat for two. But I think we can beat that. <clears throat> I, think, I think we can beat an entreat for two. I'm not sure... They could have Inquisitioned it, but then they just go like Jace, bounce your threat, and they get the brainstorm. So now all their brainstorm does is put their entreat back on top. Which, you know, it's not bad. What's going to suck is if they find out Terminus. Then it's probably over. But what are you going to do? Send the Death Shadow at Jace, send the Gourmet Angler at my opponent. Unless we draw something that makes my Death Shadow larger. I'm fairly certain there's not many ways that this goes well for me. How many um, how many terminus do they play? They play just the full four. Whoa, that was huge. Three to four. Oh, wow, they didn't draw it. They're just kind of waiting on it. I'm trying to get three angels. Now I stub this, grow my death shadow. If they make tokens, we just try to attack over it, I guess. This leaves them at two. So they're gonna they're gonna miracle the the angels. <clears throat> they're not drawing a land. So they do every they, they miracle everything. We attack, they have to block with both, then they have Entreat, Angel, plus Colonnade, which is what I was thinking, but it just didn't necessarily come as quickly there. So should I cycle this or just bobble? Now we're okay if they don't draw a land. I think I'm just going to play this out here. I should have attacked first. This is poor sequencing. My decision's already made. I'm going to attack them. This is poor. This is very poor sequencing. Okay, so now we're just now we're dead unless we draw a removal spell. Because like they might not have made this block here, and I might have an angler. It'll just pour this this is poor sequencing for me. So now they just like play land, fire up colonnade, then attack. That was, that was like this is like poor sequencing. Well, they're just dead, right? If they hit a land, if they don't double block Angler. But if I have a removal spell, I just kill it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. They got me. And maybe I didn't have to counter that Celestial. Maybe I should just let that Celestial Purge go. Maybe that's like, in hindsight, that's what I should have done. Probably. I was just playing quickly. I probably should have let the Purge go. Let him purge my thing, and then save the Stubborn Denial for the Entreat the Angels, especially when I know, like, the Entreat the Angels is on top. 
Yeah, that was that was probably it. I, I, I punted that. I tossed that one. I knew the intrigue was there. Yeah, I just didn't think about that one long enough, Rafi. It was definitely a punt. That one was just purely my mistake. I just let show let the purge go. It would have been all set. And I'm only drawing to like a two outer there that really matters. I guess I'm drawing to four outs that kind of, that like don't necessarily win me the game, but keep the game going with the line that I took. I'm drawing to my two explosives and two fatal pushes. So that was, that was definitely, that was poor on my part. It was poor. I have Rafi. Yep, we're going to keep this. Django Reality Skull. There's so many blue decks. Um, I'm just going to take a look here. It doesn't give me perfect information because they're going to shuffle this card away, but it lets me know if they're like Storm or a Control deck based on what this card is. Okay, so they're a Control deck. My opponent's talking to me. I don't really want to talk to them. Jeez. There's a lot of shadow of doubts. What is going on? Always take path. I'm not playing super well. I'm not paying attention, I don't think. I feel a little laggy. There's a ton we knew about. All right, so. So this angler gets pathed. No matter what I do. So I might as well. Faithless looting. Can ditch this looting. It's either like the land. I probably should just ditch the land. Well, the dismember's not going to do anything, I don't think. But now there's this land. This land's just going to hit, hit eventually. I guess I'll just ditch the land. Looking for a stubborn denial. Or, di or a discard spell. All right. Put on top. Put on top. And then we'll play nasty next turn. It'll be good. We're going to cycle a shadow doubt. This is like some 2014 shit here. Opponent's going deep in the tank. We're going to do it off of the swamp. Now shoot. I'm playing so bad tonight. I'm just all over the place. And I could have I could have just delved one more. Kept my looting. Yeah. We need to tighten up. I'm just making all kinds of mistakes left and right here. I hope they go Shadow of Doubt, sack the Flooded Strand. No. Weren't that lucky. They are going to go Shadow of Doubt. They're going to electrolyze me, it looks like. That's fine. So you still have the Shadow Doubt. Shadow Doubt, Path Bolt. Okay. Start off by just getting in here.
Should have played my fetch land. God, I'm all over the place. Because they're going to go... They're definitely going to go cycle... And you're like double bowl. Double bolt would be nice. Double bolt means I get to fetch. Another path is bad. Snapcaster Mage. So I do get to path. I get to play Death Shadow. I know they have. I know they have a Shadow of Doubt, Lightning Bolt. So I'm probably just going to fetch Shock, and then play Death Shadow. Okay. God, they hit. They hit another path. Doesn't look like they did. So if I pay four. 10, paying 4 doesn't seem good. Let's just pay 2, because I want to be able to go snap, um, snap stubborn denial. Let's get this thing out of here. Then just crack in. Now we're getting like the awkward part of the game where my opponent can't kill my creatures, but like they have to kill me, and if they don't do that, then they're gonna lose. I mean, they're gonna lose anyways if they don't kill me. I guess they have to choose their line. Bang! That'd be sick. They just wait. Okay. So you have Bolt. I got like Bolt, Snap, Bolt. Okay. First one's good. Snap stub. Okay. Got him. All right, so we're going to cut some of our rates. We're bringing in the Pyromancers, the Command, the Stub, and the Last Hope. I'm going to cut my Battle Rages. Probably want to cut my dismembers as well, and I will cut one lightning bolt. I could leave both lightning bolts in and then cut the street wraiths and then go down to three wraiths, which I don't hate. Do not, I don't hate getting rid of the, doing it like this. I think I'm gonna do this. I think I think a way to like so here the two ways we lose this deck is to we lose this deck in three ways: search for its Kanta, supreme verdict, and then doing too much damage to ourselves. So I think we're gonna to try to eliminate one of those and submit here.
All right. Yep, we're gonna keep this. Opponent mulligans too. They have sixty-one cards. The sixty-one card heater. And I put a card on top. So let's see what it is. Steam vents. So they're land light. I still think I'm gonna thought seize. It's very unlikely that I have a draw that allows me to play Gurmag Angler and have Stubborn Denial up regardless of what I get here. Oh. I deal with some spell quellers. Alright, so there's the Scalding Tide. Bolt's a really good draw. So let's go get Blood Crypts. Thought Scour myself. And then we'll get nasty. We're going we're to delve our Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize isn't likely to be what we want this turn. We're going to keep the Cantrip in there to play the Snapcaster game, though. And hopefully they don't have a way to deal with this this angler. So that's what they drew. So let's get in here first. Ironically, I don't really have a good play this turn. Because I can play Angler, I can play Last Hope, then it gets hit. Um, I can play Last Hope, it gets caught. I can play Death Shadow, get it back, and then it gets bolted. So... I think we're just going to go Shock Pass. Bolt this spell color that comes in here at the end of the turn. I could just let it hit me. And then... Well, that seems pretty dangerous, though. So if I let it hit me, 5, bolt it. They spell color that bolt. Then I play Death Shadow. And they're attacking me for 4. I think we're just going to get rid of this. With the Stubborn Denial in our hand... The way that our opponent's hand set up, I think we can just like get away with playing a slower game. Okay, so this is the old. We're gonna try to block angler and bolt it. Hmm. I kind of want to play into this spell color because the spell color is going to die eventually. And when it dies, I want something to come back. Like, this spell color is going to have to block this Gurmag Angler at some point. So I think I'm just going to play this Liliana. And he's going to quell it. Because I don't just want to do nothing with my turn. Opponent quells it. They could also just let it go and then attack it and bolt it. Okay. This is going upstairs. All right. My opponent has a plan. Now we can play Death Shadow. I totally hope my opponent still has Supreme Verdict in their deck after sideboard.
So we have another spell caller. They still have to block. Okay. God, I hope they Supreme Verdict me so bad. That is going to be so funny if they Supreme Verdict me. Okay. Hey, B Math. All right, so now we got him six ways to Sunday. Let's play this land. Attack. We don't have to do anything. Comes into play. Snapcaster bolt you. Get worked, son. Yeah, I hope you're uh, you a YouTube person there, B Math. I get I get a couple of them YouTube people that come in. Update my spreadsheet. I've played against blue, white, red control one, two, three, four times today. And I've, just, I've two oh three of them and two one one of them. I think that's I think that's kind of a like a facade that blue white control dominates death shadow or blue blue white red blue white wrecks death shadow but I, I don't I think the people that think that like blue white red beats up on the shadow decks I think I think they are miss don't know what's going on I'll be right back hey bud gonna be your dinner time after this game. Dinner time at six, Phil. Not quite six, bud. Let's pull up here into my dashboard. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been thinking about revamping a couple of the ways that I do some videos on my YouTube channel. I've been thinking about like, because whenever I do the uh, like a PTQ or a modern challenge, I break them up by matches, and they get. They all have worse retention time, and they all have worse um, whatever it is. They have worse retention time, and they just don't get as many views. So I'm thinking maybe of doing one big stream and then putting in the um, whatever it is, putting in the uh, putting in the timestamps. I might just start timestamping my regular streams. With like, hey, here's what we played at this part of the league, this part of the league, and this part of the league. I don't know, so maybe people can skip around. So just, just like, just thinking of stuff to just improve the improve the YouTube side of it. Wow, three minutes to load up a modern latch. This is not normal. So yeah, I usually don't I usually don't play with pyromancers on the sideboard. I'm not like a super fan of them. But I wanted to try the pyromancers out tonight, basically because I wanted to cut an Isle Spell Bomb. Because 
while I like Niall Spellbomb, and as of right now, if I was going to a big tournament, I would play Spellbomb. I don't want... I feel like sometimes I overboard Spellbomb. So I want to, like, not have it and then see how much I miss it. Because, like, a lot of the time... Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to board it in against the Snapcaster decks. If they have Logic Knot and Search, then, like, the, the argument becomes more, but maybe I should just try to be, like, more, more streamlined. I just, I just do not, do not know. So we're just trying something new out tonight. All right, I would like to lead off. It's one of those hands where we hope, I hope the first street wraith gets us to the, gets us to the promised land. This is where if we have a Death Shadow on top, we're going to be in pretty good shape. The Angler might be a little slow. But, like, we're it's, a, it's just like a, it's a pretty explosive Death Shadow draw. Okay, it's playing against humans. Uh, take Champion. Take Ether Vial. Push Champion. Thought sees Freebooter. Thought sees Meddling Mage. Alternatively, they play Vial. I take this champion. Next turn, take Meddling Mage, hold up a mana to push the Freebooter. But if I let them have the champion, they probably cast. No, they, they don't cast the champion on one. They're going to cast the Aether Vial on one. I'm just trying to think if I can like disrupt my opponent's curve at all. I think I'm going to take the Vile. Push the champion and Thought Seize also. Pretty sure that's the game plan. Hopefully I find a Death Shadow here. Death Shadow would be sweet. Okay, so they drew Noir. Doesn't really change anything. We're still just going to push this. Let me look at my top card. Serum Visions. We don't want Serum Visions. So we're going to shuffle that away. I'm going to Thought Seize this Kite Sail Freebooter. And then... Probably fatal push this noble hierarch. Right now. I guess I should have waited until my upkeep in order to get more information. Really want a death shadow. Oh, they just F6 their turn. That sucks. That sucks. So we're going to fetch a basic swamp, no, basic island, and we're going to just fully delve here. Actually, F6 through my first turn in a match today against Tron. Did not win that game. And we're going to just delve our whole, delve as least as Delve the least we, we can because we don't want we want to be able to play around a reflector mage. My opponent probably goes land um image this whatever it is, this Gurmag Angler. Oh, oh they decided not to. Alright, well we are just going to
I kind of want to snap push this to get another body on the board. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I can trade the Snapcaster off and bring it back with K command. Alternatively, I could have checked my opponent for a Reflector Mage there. I definitely wouldn't fault anybody for, for K commanding there. Up here, put this down a little bit. Unclaimed damage charges. They keep playing a land that we don't know about. Champion. They're gonna image the champion. Oh, yeah, meddling mage. Okay. Probably name Lightning Bolt. So they have Ancient Ziggurat, Phantasmal Image as their last two cards. And I think I'm going to attack with both of my creatures first. Give my opponent the opportunity to trade off of the Snapcaster Mage. They named Death Shadow. Okay. And then I can command it back. Okay, so now I kind of like, because they're just going to ditch their land, there's not much to do with it, I kind of like just Serum Visioning and then Dismembering this Champion of Parish. I would like to get something a little more, okay, or we can just, yeah. Um, so I don't really want to dismember this because I just lose to a top deck. Um... I don't want to like dismember this and play Death Shadow because then I just lose to a top deck. But I guess I lose to a top deck Mantis Rider anyways, right? We're not beating Mantis Rider. Because if I just do this for two, I go to five, so I might as well just just go pedal the metal here. I should have thought about this play more because now now I can't beat Mantis Rider. And as soon as I cast Serum Visions, I signed up to lose to Mantis Rider. So we just gotta hope that they don't they don't hit a Mantis Rider or a Reflector Mage here. Yeah, this was loose. This was really loose. I'm not happy with myself. My phone's got like eight outs here. We deserve to lose this. Yeah, we lost. God, that's frustrating. It's my fault. But I could have beat that by not dismembering that. Yeah, this was just loose all around. Ugh. Yep, I should have should have just been more conservative. Yep, and I should have thought about it more because as soon as I cast that Serum Visions, I then like kind of committed to the line that I was talking about. Oh man. All right. Go like this. Um sort by converted mana cost. I don't want the pyromancers. The pyromancers aren't that great. Okay, go like this. Should have won that one. But we'll win the next two. Tighten up here. Turn it around. So I can keep this hand in prey. Because it's got like interaction. I can I have three interactive spells. If I find a land for looting, I'm in good shape. I think I'm gonna keep this. This is very close though. I'm just going to take this Thalia. We're going to push the Noble Hierarch.
Cavern. To draw a vial. No human. Okay. All right. Nice. Um, I kind of don't even really want to cast Faithless Looting because my cards are so good. I think we're just going to push this and then pass. This is like where the cost of looting is a little higher because after sideboard when your deck's concentrated, it's much better. All right, so, so this is annoying because like they're going to have the Meddling Mage synergy going on. But worse comes to worse, I can loot away some of these cards, which will probably end up happening. I can't do that one. Wrong one mana spell. Red one mana spell. I'm so glad they fixed this templating. I wouldn't mind looting in the like land Gurmag Angler. Okay. I think I just get rid of land dismember. Cast this. They're going to meddling mage K command. I will then snap push um look to snap push something and trade with this meddling mage in combat and then try to K command it back. Command. Okay. I'm going to fetch shock, but that's probably about as liberal with my life total as I'm going to be. I'm going to get another red source because it's important that if we get Lava Man to have another red source in play. All right, so now we really got to hope my opponent attacks here. I'll let that go and hope they don't name Snapcaster. If they name Snapcaster, we're screwed. But if they don't name Snapcaster here, then we get to eat this, kill this, rebuy it, make them discard a card. Gourmet Angler. That's such a loose name. You have Reflector Mage. Target Fatal Push. Block here. Push, wait till the end of their turn. Push this. All right, hold the phone. Does that change anything? It doesn't change anything because they're just going to reflect your mage yet. So basically, we're just going to return Snapcaster Mage and make them discard a card. We're just kidding. We're just going to shoot this, make them discard a card.
Man, when this card is good, it is good. Hopefully they ditch this Reflector Mage. They did ditch the Reflector Mage, okay. So now we'll probably play Death Shadow because they did get rid of Reflector Mage. Unless they play a creature. If they play a creature in Ether Vial, then I'm just going to go like bang, bang. Get our, get our homeboy into play. Here's the million dollar question. If my opponent draws a Mantis Rider, do I let them hit me before I kill it? Thalia would be annoying. Okay, Melee Mage. This is definitely gonna name K Command. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna braid this. <clears throat> Total Dance Command. And then we're gonna K Command back our Snapcaster Mage on our turn. Get their last card. So return Snapcaster Mage, make you discard. If it's good, they can cycle their canopy, but then they might. And we're going to definitely play our land out. So hopefully we just get it. All we want is a spell here, no matter what. doesn't matter what it is. We just want something. Then we might start being able to, like, Snap K Command, which Snap Command should end the game pretty quickly. Okay, we got a thousand Lieutenant. Let's gas. So there's not much we're worried about. We have Mantis Rider covered. Like, Meddling Mage is pretty annoying, but we can just Faithless looting away our Snapcaster Mage if we have to. This is going to be a Reflector Mage. It's okay. Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing a noble. Okay. Inquisition is not great. So we are gearing up for a pretty solid um, for a pretty solid Faithless Looting, because like they, we're going to get rid of this. I think I'm just going to snap bolt this thing with the trigger on. I'm going to assume my opponent's last card is dead. And if it's Mantis Rider, we're going to have Death Shadow in play. So next turn, so it's going to be pretty decent. I just want to use my mana. I can't afford to like not, not use, not use my mana. We're gonna use the abrade because it's just again it's mana efficient. We're all about efficiency on this channel. It's interesting that we're grinding this deck out as much without. Um, Without a Grim Lava Lancer. Okay. All right. So then we might as well now, because we're not flashing. Well, no, I'm going to leave that in my hand because we might want it. So let's get in to poke in here. And then we're going to play. I guess they would be. I guess them holding Reflector Mage makes sense. 
So let's take a reflector mage, hopefully. Okay. I think, like, we, we could have guessed that was a land, but I think it's such high upside if we hit a reflector mage just to not be able to, like, to make our looting worse on the back end that I think it's worth it. Like, it's not like we're going to be looting plus doing something because, like, activating this, this Lava Mancer is basically a Planeswalker and we, that we have to invest the mana into. We kind of have to worry about Restoration Angel, but we've got that covered, basically. All right. So that's actually lethal, because we shoot ourselves and then Battle Rage in. Those were two. Those were two decent draw steps. Alrighty. All right. Last game. So we have to be aggressive. Uh, we have to be like. Pretty disciplined with our mulligans. Like, I do think that it's important to mulligan to, like, either in a braid, fatal push, dismember, lightning bolt, lava mancer. Like, we need, we need early interaction. And I think to the board is really what matters. We have a looting, we have a Sphere Envisions, we have an Inquisition and Dismember. So I think I'm going to keep this hand. And we're pretty loose to, like, creature into Thalia, like, such as life. Wow, nothing on one, okay. So let's just start working on our graveyard for when we draw that Lava Man. So we're looking to take a Thalia here. Okay, so we have this Mantis Rider covered. We don't have this Freebooter covered, though. This sucks, because if we take Kite Sail Freebooter, they just Thalia me, which is beatable, I guess. I guess what's not beatable is them playing Freebooter and us never drawing another spell. So we're basically priced into dismembering their two-drop, so we're going to take this Freebooter. My opponent's going to play Thalia. Then we are going to hold up and dismember that Thalia. We just need to make it. We just need to survive. We need to like claw a little longer here. All right. We're definitely pro we're probably going to dismember this no matter what because we need to clear the board. If my opponent plays a Sin Collector, after I dismember this, I can snap Inquisition the Mantis Rider, and then hopefully we trade for this. Yeah, so, so they're going to take something. It doesn't really matter because the ultimate prize, this is working out great for us. The ultimate prize is snap Inquisitioning this Mantis Rider after we kill this Thalia. Shoot. So let's pay for life. Hit this. Doesn't really matter what they take. The nice thing is that our Snapcaster Mage holds off the Sin Collector even through a Thalia's Lieutenant Trigger. Very tight. It looks like it's going to be a tight game. I think they take looting. If 
I had to assume. Because that helps enable a Gurmag Angler. And, uh, like, Gurmag Angler really solidifies the battlefield for them. They played the Ziggurat, so we know that's gone. Oh, the Snapcaster Mage is so good here. Just going to threaten to trade with the Sin Collector. Yeah, I think that's a good take from them. That's a great pickup. We're still just going to, like, we're going to be mana efficient. And get a creature. Get a battlefield presence. Next time we've got, like, Bolt. Double Mantis Rider here is a problem. If we see if we see two mantis riders, then it's gonna get a little sketchy. Or like phantasmal image. If they have phantasmal image, we might take it. And then just look to grind through the like trade here, bolt that next turn. It's a lot of values and tenants. So I take mantis I think I think it's just take mantis rider. Okay, so Drew Land. So they're going to play this out. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with this Sin Collector. Hopefully they attack with it. Just like, that would be great. No, they're not going to. Battle Rage is good, but oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we're going to put this on the bottom. Put this on top. And then just hold back here. Hopefully clean up the lieutenants. I could have played EE for two, but then we wouldn't get this value as lieutenant. I just need to save myself damage. So I think what I'm going to do here is just bolt one of these. Still taking a decent amount of damage here. Taking three, bolt. My opponent finds a human next turn. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to chump bolt here. Then blow up two of these. The champion was a pretty good draw. It's a good hit. Now we're going to EE this away. Take a shot and then play Gurmag Angler. Next turn. Opponent's gonna miss. Miss. We need to miss one draw step, but not hit a reflector mage. That's kind of where we're at. That's kind of a miss. All right, this isn't bad. Oh God, no, no. We just lagged through my turn. Okay. All right. We're going to take three. We're dead to Mantis Rider. I guess they lagged through their turn, so it's only even. Oh, don't do it. Come on.
It would be in such a better shot spot if we have this Death Shadow and these Gurmag Angler in play. So we're going to take five, go to two. Lose to a Reflector Mage unless we draw a removal spell. Which we didn't. So let's go like this. We're going to win next turn if my opponent misses. We're just going to represent a Snapcaster Flash in here. Oh, the game would be over if we could have gotten, gotten in there. Okay, it's not bad. The hard part here, though, is that my opponent – so we have to attack. Just attack willy-nilly here because I need, I need my opponent to block this Death Shadow with the Champion Wins because we can't live through next turn. Actually, 22 minus 3 is 19, so they're just dead anyways. They either have to... I don't know. They, they might figure it out. Yeah, that's... Their best block would have been to put champion here, this here. Huh. So this is 22 minus 6. I mean, we have to battle right in. 22 minus 6 is 16. Yeah, we just still got them. And they could have beaten this. They could have. They could have still won if they just chumped the Gurmag Angler. Put the champion in front of the Death Shadow and chump the Angler, they win. Like, my opponent just tossed this. But, that happens. And like, we would have we would have surely won the game if we could have got our creatures down a turn earlier. What's interesting is what would have happened earlier in the match. So, mark that one down. Grab some water. I'll be right back. Actually, I'm gonna feed. I'm gonna feed Philly quickly. I'll be right back. You hungry? You want some dinner? Okay. All right. Get back into it.
and move this over here. So how's the chat tonight's doing? How's, how's everybody in the chat doing tonight? I'm going to get some water. I'm losing my mind. A while to queue up the uh, to queue up the modern leagues. I actually got to put on some music for myself to hear. Just want to make sure it doesn't come on over the. Here we go. Alright, I don't recognize my opponent's name. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. We have a bunch of redraws, and this looks like a pretty solid Gurmag Angler hand. Well, obviously, we have to draw the angler, but like our graveyard is going to be very strong. So let's cycle this. What can I hit? I can't even really hit anything, so there's no need cycling this stuff here. So let's just pass. Should have should have on their upkeep there. It's okay. Botanical Sanctum. So, Cloudfin Raptor, you don't say. Okay, so they have a Strangle Root Guys coming out. So, look at this green, blue. Oh, they're like the Rapid Hybridization deck. Yeah, I know what this is. So, I doubt they can beat a Battle Rage. So, if we can get a Shadow in play, and that's step A to getting a Shadow in play, okay? So let's get Gurmy going on. It's likely only going to take me one attack phase to win with a shadow to win this. So we're not super worried about it. We even have the Snapcaster to back up what we're doing here. Back in the day. I didn't know. I wasn't playing standard during that time. I remember college was a little rough for me. Archmage, can you tell me if you can hear this? You shouldn't hear it. Young Wolf, okay. And again, this is just like not going to work at all. Yeah, especially considering they gave me the shadow. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to do like 42 damage to ourselves next turn. Oh, it comes back. I forgot about that. It's worth thinking about at least. So they have like infinite chump blockers and this thing grows. Might have to do some actual cipher in here. You can't hear the music, right?
So I might have to think about flashing in my Snapcaster mage. I just take this, right? So if I take this, I take four. because Well, they could rapid hybridization my Death Shadow. So I actually should block. Because if they hybridize my Death Shadow, things are going to get weird if I don't block. Because they are on their... Th I could have fetched to get rid of this. I guess I should have done that. We're just like kind of confused about what is going on here, what my opponent's doing. So I might actually try to play slow now. So let's get a steam vents. I will pay the life. So let's attack with both of these. Snapcaster Mage should buy me a turn. So if I just go for it, what happens? They take five flashing. <clears throat> I'm dead. If they have rap. No, I'm not. I'm going to go for it. We're going to play this deck to not go for it. All right, didn't have it. This would be an odd time to hybridize. Okay. Uh, we are two and one up a game there, uh, Dorse. You were around uh, earlier this week, right, sir? I think I, I seem to remember your name. So they're they're a small creature deck. So let's just board. I'm gonna board like they're humans. I might leave in some more Gurmag anglers because they don't have reflector mages. We probably don't need these. The last hopes don't seem as good. Let's go like this. Let's try this out. You're subscribed on YouTube. If I'm your favorite, you should be subscribed, right? Doors. Angel smile. Archie said. <coughs> this hand's pretty good if we hit. I think I'm going to mulligan, actually, because like these aren't great without a third land or without something, to, something good to snap back. I think I think I'm gonna ship this like a one like a piece of one mana removal. Lava Mancer is like the nut, and we're gonna be in the mood. We're gonna be in the mood for another land, especially considering we have our island here, which is awful. Yeah, that Hollow One was a tough league for the home team. I was not super. I wasn't super. So like, I wasn't super into it. And I also wasn't very good at it. I got a little frustrated by by that deck, just because like it's so t like obviously there's there's like that deck has an, an inherently like a huge amount of variance, but it's so difficult to make your own plays. Think about what's an intelligent play for me to make here. Here comes a 2-3, which is actually annoying. Hopefully I don't have another thing, so this Lava Mancer doesn't look absolutely embarrassing. All right, nice. So we're just going to get in with this with Lava Man. Okay. Okay. 
I'm definitely, but I'm definitely digging the bottle version. Yeah, I mean, and Ben's a Ben is a fantastic Magic player. So playing his, you can't go wrong playing his deck. So we're gonna shoot this Cloudfin Raptor. This Northern Renegade's gonna be really freaking annoying. So I might as well just get rid of one of these. And I'm going to do it on... And then now I'm going to blow this up with my opponent's upkeep. And they can, they can Pognify their Narnum Renegade. To give them, uh, to make this live because it gives them an a, a trigger, but that's all right. We get the Death Toucher off the graveyard, which is going to be like the hardest thing to deal with. Okay, so we still get two, we two for one of them basically. Okay, so they drew. All right, that's a really good draw. So now we can just kind of hold down the fort. I'm actually going to get because I'm 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 not blocking these Narnum Renegades. So there's no need to take a million damage. I am going to go like this and cut some of my opponent's mana off. I'm probably going to end up ambush vipering. Blocking and then um, getting this, getting one of these off the board. Yes, I do, Tin Man. I think Faithless Looting is very good. I think looting is right where you want to be. I think it's, I think it's very comparable to Thought Scour. Um, but it's not quite as good. Well, so it's better than Thought Scour, but you can't play a lot of them because you, you, it's not like you can ditch Lingering Souls. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're just gonna take this shot. I should have fetched here. That'd have been that'd have been the better play. Okay, let's see. What does this do? Oh, for each one. Okay. Young wolf. Okay, so young wolf's not doesn't really matter that much. No, I should should play my land. Because I could like draw a push and still want to send Snapcaster in there. Okay, that's a good draw. So it deals with one of these. So I'm just going to flash this in. I, I probably. No, this was stupid. I think I could have just bolted and snapped. The problem is I would like another red source. If I had another red source, then I'd be in good shape. But I don't. Like, I should. I wonder if I had a chance to fetch a second red source at any point. Probably. Like, that's going to cost me here. Because if I could have gone, like, bolt, snap, bolt here, I'd be in. The game would just be over. We're gonna put both of these on top. I'm gonna leave this land in my hand. I am gonna want to get another red source with it. So now we go like block, bolt, take four. A pognify here would be pretty bad. Strangle Regice is also pretty bad. One, two, three, so block, shoot, block, take five. Can't do that. Block. They all come back, which is not good. So 
eat this, block here, shoot this, take three. So block here, block here, shoot this. Yeah, I, I tossed this match here by not getting another red source. Because last time I could have gone bolt snap bolt, we'd have been like great. And we can live next turn. No, we can't because we put the dismember underneath the serum visions. I guess I should have fetched there and looked for battle rage. That was I may have just made another mistake. Not playing very well tonight. There it is. There she is. Block here. Bolt this. Take three. Can't cast Dismember. Yeah, I think I played that poorly. I think I needed to... Even though I, I knew I was going to have to preserve my life total, it would have been more important to be able to go Bolt Snap Bolt. Maybe that's an out that I should play to. I'm not sure if it's correct at the time for me to do that. Not exactly sure. Um, I wonder if I want Young Pyromancer. Young Pyromancer seems pretty good, actually. A lot of these discard spells don't seem great. We could just go, like, full control and try doing this. Pyromancer seems pretty good at just, like, helping to deal with, like, their little creatures. Yeah, we're going to try this. All right, we're going to keep this. This is a Lava Mancer on one. We can't activate it on two. But Lava Mancer is definitely where we want to be here. You guys can't hear the music, right? I just want to make sure. Because it's going to mess with my copyright if you guys can. And I also could shut my stream down. I'm likely just going to bolt, or, all right, we don't need any more of these. I'm actually just going to attack and then hit my opponent with a discard spell. A lot of my opponent's creatures are just two for ones as soon as they hit the battlefield. And if I can just prevent that, that would be good. If my opponent doesn't play two creatures, then I can just shoot this next turn. Yeah, we're just going to take this Pognify. Should have boarded out more anglers because of the Vapor Snags as well. Can't, nice. Okay, so they did hit a Renegade. So Forest. Cloudfin Raptor's gone. Jeez. So bing, bing is the plan. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Then this Avatar of Resolute comes in. We can shoot that as well. Actually, hang on. Shoot that. And I'll bolt this. Next turn, shoot this, push that. My opponent wants to use a Vapor Snag to 
save this Cloudfin Raptor, then that's that's their prerogative. Okay. The opponent didn't even attack. I'm just going to play this. And when my opponent cracks their fetch land, I'm going to kill both of these. Okay, good. I should have done their upkeep. That was loose. So they just save it. I think I can take one from this to just push this thing. I guess it doesn't matter. That was stupid. Okay, so they have two creatures coming down here. Then I'll probably just snap push this thing and get in. Yeah. Just start getting on the battlefield. We need something to fuel the graveyard up. But we but this thing's done a lot of work. This thing's killed two Cloudfin Raptors. This thing's a, this Grim Lavamancer's effectively traded with three cards already, so even though we're not getting Oh, okay. We're gonna trade here. This is all right. This script, now this script lava mancer is traded for four cards, and we're out of stuff to do with the graveyard anyways. So we'll take it. Just play the snapcaster. We're gonna bobble now so that I can draw something on their turn. We're only one card away from playing angler. Try to course. That's pretty sweet in their deck. Nothing on the door. I think we're just going to hold. I'm going to attack first. And when Lava Mancer is good, Lava Mancer is just so good. Like, if Lava Mancer basically traded for four of my opponent's cards. Like, since I've added that to the deck, I've been really happy. Okay, uh, put this on the bottom. I don't think... I'm going to just put this on top. I don't even really want to Faithless Looting to get Gurmag Angler in play. I think I just want to continue to like find removal and beat down with these Snapcaster Mages. So I think I'm going to put this on the bottom. And then I'm just going to snap. Oh, I can't. Okay. So now I guess. Now, now I'll Angler. Because I can't. I was going to snap Snapcaster. Oh, geez. Don't want this. We can pitch probably this Death Shadow. And if my opponent Vapor Snags me, then whatever. Yeah, Lava, Lava Mancer's the nut. And I think we're just going to leave. We're going to delve over the Faithless Looting. No, we're not going to delve over the Faithless Looting. Excuse me. I miscounted here. No, we're going to delve over the looting, because I think just Snapcastering back to Serum Visions is better than Faithless Looting, because we just don't have very many cards. I'd rather just go up a card and say even when I can. All right, Raptor. I can just play this next turn. I might as well just hold up and abrade something. And then I can EE -E a bunch of stuff away to my start if I need to. I need to make sure I do this before my opponent attacks. Oh. Hold the phone. Voice is a good sideboard card for them to have. It's pretty resilient to removal. Which is like what this deck struggles with. If 
I flash in Snapcaster Mage, then they're they pop up by that, okay. So now I can actually attack with Gurmag Angler. They chump with a voice. Then I'll just EE away the voice, the token. This is alright. Again, I don't really know like what is that bad for us at this at this point. And my opponent's last card is Charter Course. I think at this point we're just gonna pass, snap a braid this, and then have two lethal attackers next turn, and we can deal with whatever they do here. And I'm just gonna let my opponent attack. They should definitely attack with a voice. Because this this survives two attackers. Or two blockers, I mean. Two removal spells, excuse me. So you chart, draw your cards. You land Pognify keeps a minute. But we got it here. And again, my opponent could have survived this if they had attacked just the other way. But we'll take it. Get a zero mana, something that does something. I definitely made a mistake in how I sideboarded. I should have sideboarded out for Angler. Because they have Vapor Snag and I want Lava Man. All right. Going for the 4 1. This will be my fourth 4 1 of the day. Just pretty gas. Gasoline. What do you think, Phil? What's going on with your brain down there? Remember, all donations and subscriptions this week go to me going to SCG Philly. We lost to Blue White Control. Um, I've literally lost. I've lost four matches today. Did I lose the Blue White Control? Or did, I, did I toss something else? I think I lost the Blue White. Oh, okay, I can't see it. All donations go usually go to Philly Boy, staying fat. But we're going to SCG next weekend. I figured I would. Give the community an opportunity to give back. You know that I would appreciate it. I have an article going up. I had a video for Top Deck Productions go up. Um, My friend posted something funny. Um, what else did I play against today? Yeah, I've just I've just lost. I tossed a match. I you know, lost four times today. I've tossed. I lost. I went one and three against Blue White Control, and I tossed a match against Ponza. But I've won every other game. I don't remember what else I played against. Just a small town, Philly boy. I beat Blue White. I beat Blue White Red four times today. That deck is not good. I'm just going to go out here and say the blue white red control is awful. Like, it is just not good. What are you thinking, bud? After this league, we'll take you out. I'm going to take Phil Boy out after this match and come back up for at least one more league. I might try to put in a long stream tonight. Maybe go to like midnight or something like that. Big stream. Okay. My opponent's name is Moose Droppings. That is great. Um, I would like to play first. 
And this is a very good hand. Very good hand. I think I'm going to hold my Street Wraith. I might draw Serum Visions. Might be playing against Burn. Um, so, Jake, I, I like the list that I've been playing with the Spell Bombs in the sideboard. I just wanted to try something different because Ben Jones is a real um, advocate for three Pyromancers in the sideboard. And I felt that I was overboarding Nihil Spell Bombs, so I want to see if I can play without it. Hey, leave it. Yeah, you. Yeah, you, you little cutie. Something will win. Ho! Oh. Alright, we're just going to take a Snapcaster Mage. So we got to mind our life total. Because this is like the blue red wizard's deck. It's got Mutavault, that's gas. Because Mutavault is a wizard. Strange. I haven't played against this deck. I played two Pyros. Yeah, I basically just went with ben, Ben's list. I took his exact list. I cut the two Leyline of the Voids for two of Raids. A Fatal Push for a Kologon's Command from the sideboard. And then the main deck, I cut a Lightning Bolt for a Fatal Push. And what else did I do? I cut a Thought Scour for Serum Visions. For a couple Serum Visions. I play, I play three Serum Visions. He only plays one. I don't know exactly where they're coming from. I'm a bigger Braid fan, yes. I'm a bigger Braid fan. I've been, I've been north of... 50% against Hollow One in this last little work that I've been on. All right, so we're going to kill that. We found a Death Shadow, which is nice. So I think I think we're going Pedal to the Metal now. So we're going to get a Blood Crypt. Play this Death Shadow. And then I'm going to see what my opponent... Well, this is a wizard. Oh, this is a wizard. So I just made a mistake here. Yeah, I just messed up. Because it's a wizard. So it doesn't... Okay. I'm apt to make a couple mistakes this match. If that's the way you need it, any way you want it. You know that, Phil? Any way you want it, that's the way you need it, bud. This is my third day streaming in a row. We've been, we've been doing work. I'm having a lot of fun. So I think we're just going to deal with this. And then get in there. I'm not going to give my opponent the opportunity. Because like they're going to Wizards Lightning now. I'm going to bolt myself. And then I'm going to attack for six. This is, this is, I think this is going to be a little tough, tough matchup. Because now we know their hand. We're lucky they're almost out of resources. And we're putting, a, we're putting a hurt on quick. Oh, so they still have the burst lightning. So they can still snap lightning me, which is what they're gonna do. So they're gonna put me to four here. So they played Mutavault. I know I know they have burst lightning, that's it. So that's just game. That was a good that was a good top deck. I should just battle rage, because it doesn't matter. My opponent was going my opponent was just playing very aggressive, which I don't know. Like they obviously can't go toe to toe with the Death Shadow. That's the nice thing about playing this deck is that like the other decks, they just can't go toe to toe you with you, so they have to try to like, they either can't go to toe to toe with you because your creatures are too big, and they can't go toe to toe with you because um because your creatures are too big, or you're too efficient. So we don't, we definitely want to cut these six cards, and we want to play slow. Um, Stubborn denial feels pretty good. Liliana the Last Hope is also pretty great. I think these Pyromancers are actually nuts. EE -E is decent. I think a Braid's probably better. It's less clunky. I'm pretty down with... 
Like Grim Lava Mancer also doesn't seem bad. So I'm pretty down with like Shaven. Like this Colgon's Command is kind of clunky. Shaven and Angler. Adding like two of these. The big debate is Engineered Explosives. And while Explosives might be good, I'm not exactly sure what I want. I could just cut two Thoughtseeds. I have no idea how to play against this deck. I've never done it before. I could go like this. Like they a lot of, they have a lot of creatures on one. Like they have Soul Scar Mage. They have Gitu Chronicler, Delver. Yeah, I think we're gonna try this. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. That's the way you need it. Um, we're gonna keep this hand. It's pretty aggressive. It's it can definitely pun and like it's gonna punish my opponent if they try to burn me, if they try to go over the top of me. I guess. All right, we're just gonna go. Uh, we're gonna get our blood crypt. Let's get our red source. And then I'm more, I'm more than likely just playing Double Shatter next turn. Wizard's Lightning, Mana Leak, Lightning Bolt. So I think I'm going to take the Mana Leak. Which likely means I have to abrade. If this thing flips, i got to abrade it. This is another really sad part about this deck, is how bad this card is. Like Delver of Secrets is so bad. Now I've got I've definitely got to kill one of these. Because I can just go like bolt bolt. Oh, I guess I could just I could EE them, but if they flip the Delver, that's just like a way to lose pretty fast. So I think I think I'm just gonna play this and then see what they flip and probably end up abrading one. This EE is just a little too slow. Yeah, see this card just never flips. It's so bad. Okay, so let's think. Now we're probably okay. I don't think about if I want to kill this thing or not. I think the answer is no. I think I just want to. I think I want to kill this. I still take one. Like we fetch shock, kill this. And then I can offer up like one Death Shadow if I want. I guess both my Death Shadows. Okay, so they have the Wizards like, what do they do with this? Put a card on top. I almost think that I have to just kill this thing and then play a tap land. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to put a card on top and it wasn't Wizard's Lightning. And then next turn we'll play two shadows. Yes, Delver is no bueno. I think we just play all three and hope we don't get EE'd. So they have Bolt X. So they're just knocking the top. What is this? Okay, so Wizard's Lightning. So they have a lot of draws to kill me. 
they don't hit, they are dead. All right. Got the 4-1. It's pretty great. I am going to...